Ciao a tutti! In this video, we are gonna go through all the features that you see at the beginning of the page when you first enter into Todo. So, um, as you can see right now, I am in my PYP page, and down here you can see that it says newly added on Todo community. And it's telling me that our Todo community has three new units and one learning experience. Now, if I click on either the three units or the learning experience, it's going to uh, show me immediately uh, the total community uh, section. And you can find uh, about it in uh, one of my previous uh, video. We're going to go through how you can contribute into the total community and what you can do with it. Um, if you scroll down then you have uh, uh, five different sections there is the announcement one the attendance one the classroom review calendar and family messaging now what are the announcements the announcements are um, the like uh, parts in which you can actually create an announcement and you can always see the one that uh, other teachers other co-teachers made in your school uh, if you're part of their classroom. Uh, what are announcement for? I mean, announcement could be messages for the students or the families, and it could be about uh, some specific materials that you need, or if you have uh, a last minute information, or if you have a last minute news, or for example, in my school, we have something called uh, Bolletino, that is kind of like a weekly email, and that could also be uh, used as an announcement. So. Here is what you can do. You need to first add the title here and a description, and they are kind of like mandatory. And then, so I'm gonna go with uh, test uh, 001 so that we have uh, an idea, and then test 001 also here. Uh, just make sure to have a, like a very quick and clear uh, title and a very good description of your announcement. You can also add an attachment here and then it's asking you do you want to share that with all the family the students or the teachers you know and then you can either decide to have all of them or just some of them and then it's telling you which class do you want to share that with so for example if i'm going to create this announcement for my demo class to, um, uh, families and students i just need to do that and um to have them all on board uh, and then you can also just click on the check here and schedule the announcement to be ready and published on a specific uh, date and on a specific time if you don't want to do it you can always just say publish now and it's gonna be uh, published immediately now um, it's gonna also give you that why is it asking you to uh, do it uh, for like are you sure to do it so this in this way the moment you create an announcement and you publish it students and families are going to be able to see that uh, through their app so total student and total family and this is actually very useful and it's very clear and so if the families are using the um, um, total family app on their uh, phone they get like a pop-up notification or an email uh, other than that we have the attendance dashboard this is this uh, a place in which you can actually see all the attendance for the day or the attendance for the students now um, i'm not gonna do that because for a privacy reason but here i have all my uh, students name all my group all my classes in which i teach and I can always see uh, if uh, um, I made the attendance for that day. So today is the 28th. We don't have any classroom at this day, but like, let me show you, for example, you know, May 17th. And then here it's telling me which classroom uh, had their um, attendance done and uh, who did the attendance for, the, for that specific classroom. And it's all here, and so you get a sense of what is happening. Now, this attendance dashboard is really great for the division ad, the, the administration, the teachers, and also for the IB coordinators to get a sense of what, how many students do we have in each classroom. 
uh, we, for example, have the campus manager that are taking care of making sure um, that we have all the students there. And so they can just use this stuff to check if uh, the attendance was done and how many students we have in each classroom. And then uh, we have the classroom review. That is a feature in which you can actually see uh, what are the assignments that we have. You can filter them by due date, by week, by last week and earlier. So this week, they are the one that I created before on Toddle Classroom. And you get a sense of uh, uh, what's the name of the of the assignment in which classroom they are uh, somebody turn it in uh, somebody are completed and so on and so on and then here you get um, also a sense of the one that were completed by this week none of them last week none and earlier so here and actually because I am a teacher in many different classes I have all the assignment for each class that I uh, teach, but I can also filter them by uh, classes here. So for example, if I just want to see the one in fifth grade, I just need to filter that by here, and then I can get a sense of which one are completed. Uh, again, this is a feature, and because I am in different classes, I have a lot of information, but if you are an on-book teacher, then you can just keep track of your assignment in your classroom. Uh, then we have the calendar. This is the one that we could also see on our uh, classroom. This is the one in which you can actually, we can actually see what's happening or like if we have uh, uh, school events, they can also be added here. And I have all those um, 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 calendar because I am in many different classes. but. For example, if I just want to see the demo class one, this is the one that I was also able to see in my toddler classroom videos. And this is telling me that I have a video call uh, tomorrow and another one on Wednesday. And it's kind of like keeping me, keep it, it's a way for me to keep track of all my events. I also, you know, if your school is using the school calendar, uh, there is an administration feature. You can see the events on this uh, uh, calendar here. And then last but not least, there is the um, uh, family messaging. Uh, what is that? This is a place in which you can start a conversation with one of your family. So it's a one-on-one -on -one conversation and it's a way for me to uh, kind of like start something that is, you know, it could be school related, but it needs to be direct only to the family. So for example, I can say, um, I'm looking for the elementary test students and it's telling me that they, he, like the elementary students has nine family member. And so uh, I can actually just write to them directly, say, oh, I want to write to uh, Alice. And so I can start a conversation with uh, uh, only. Um, and then you can just type, you can send different kinds of files, you can uh, create an audio recording and so you can keep track of everything that is going on. This is really like a one-on-one -on -one conversation. And uh, uh, it's, you know, I think that the fact that you can select also the people is because the family uh, code is for not only the parents, but sometimes also the grandparents or the uncles and aunts or, you know, any, um, it's like the family, like a large part of the family. So. The family messaging and the fact that you can select a person is to make sure that you are uh, sending the message to the person in charge of the student's learning process. And uh, um, that is pretty much it that I wanted to show you. Grazie!